Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all well. So today is another Lessons with Lydia and we are focusing on analyzing our own style, creating our own style so that we avoid making the same mistakes in terms of buying things we don't use or don't want or wearing outfits that we don't really feel comfortable in and that feel like us. And I think what better time of year to start that than the beginning of a new season. We're entering the spring summer, definitely not summer here, um, but we're entering spring very, very slowly. Um, and as the seasons change, I mean, you don't have to do this if it's, if it's autumn winter where you are, then you can definitely apply the same rules to this. Um, but I just thought at the beginning of this new season and this change, it's really good for us all to take a step back and analyze our style. And I like to do this myself, even though I feel quite familiar with my style, I think it's always nice to kind of etch that into my brain so that I don't make any silly purchases. I actually did something uh, like this about a year ago, maybe just under a year ago. And um, I think it was one of my more watched videos. I think just because we are looking for ways to apply these tips into our own wardrobe and really define our own sense of style rather than going out and copying what we see. It's always nice to establish that feeling um, of your own sense of style. So um, what I'm going to do is break this down into categories um, so that you can then apply all of these categories into your own wardrobes. Okay, so what I've done here is take a load of my latest or later reels. Um, I might throw some pictures in there, but lots of content that I've filmed. Obviously I have tons of outfits that I've worn already available on my phone, but I would encourage you to try and take as many pictures of yourself in your outfits as possible. Not to go and post them on Instagram necessarily, but just so you've got that bank in your wardrobe so that you can then go back and self-reflect on these because this is the most useful way to analyze your style. So step one is to collate a load of pictures that you've already got of yourself. Hopefully you've got some of these already. If not, this is what you can do going forward. Once you've got that collection of images, that's when we can begin analyzing. So tip number one is assess the color palette. So I think kind of looking through all of my reels and pictures, um, there's a common theme within my color palettes of my favorite outfits, the ones that I'm kind of reaching out to um, and picking up as ones to share. So the color palette for me is pretty much predominantly neutrals. Um, I do have more colorful outfits, but they're not kind of jumping out to me as my favorite outfits. And when we're thinking about analyzing our style, we want to assess those photos and videos that are our favorite outfits. So then we really have a good idea of what we like and how we can dissect that because there's no point going over outfits that you didn't like. So find the ones you like first and then assess the color palette. So for me, as I say, it's neutrals, it's blacks, it's beige, Ages, it's mixing all of those together. It's adding some gray in. And I often also, especially at this time of year, I like to go for a blue or a green shirt maybe. Um, I, I think a shirt in particular in these colors works really nicely for me and is something that I, again, am drawn to quite a lot. But for me, it's really important to go forward with that color palette in mind. So something I don't go towards to, too much, as you can see from these videos, are things like orangey shades, browny shades. I just don't feel like they suit me as well those kind of mauve tones. And also another reason I gravitate towards this color palette is I think it always looks very classy and I feel like I want to kind of create that within my style and I want my style to look chic and polished. And that's what I want from my image. And I really think a key um, word here is what do you want from your style? Um, what do you want to get out of it? Um, who is the person you want to be when you are representing yourself, going out into the world, or even at home, who do you want to embody? And I think it's really important to have that vision in mind. And I think a color palette really lends itself to that. That said, I love seeing girls wearing patterns and color. There's so much of that going on at the moment. I follow quite a lot of girls on TikTok who have that kind of colorful, wardrobe, almost like a kind of French style, like lots of Cezanne kind of patterned and prints. Um, but for me, I just never feel like those are my favorite outfits on me. So that is the color palette I'm going to go for. So that lends itself really nicely onto my next 
thing and tip to analyze and that is the print of the piece or lack of print. What are we seeing um, from your collection of photos? If you don't have photos, you can do this kind of from memory of your favorite outfits that you've worn or even go into your wardrobe and analyze the clothes and think what are those favorite pieces that I have found myself going to. And write this down, take a notebook or your phone and write all these steps down and fill them out because when you're shopping, I think you'll find this so useful or even just when it comes to creating out Outfits. So if you're in your wardrobe and you find yourself going to a paisley print time and time again, then that is your kind of go-to. That's what you feel best in. So write that down, write down a paisley. Is that paisley a particular type? Is it a big a blousy style? Is it more of a kind of small cutesy kind of print? What kind of prints are you seeing? if any. For me, I'm seeing lots of stripes in my wardrobe. That is a real common theme, especially again with shirts, but also with things like horizontal stripes, um, a striped shirt. I'm not much of a patterned person, but when it comes to pattern, shirts are the ones that I go to and also anything really simple as well. I think things that aren't too over the top work well for me. And then you can start realizing that all of these pieces kind of piece together nicely, if that makes sense. So once you've done your pattern and print analysis, or are you somebody that prefers all plain things. We know not to deviate when it comes to buying new things for our wardrobe. I've spoken about this before, but I call them magpie pieces. These are things that you walk into a store and they might be kind of shiny and sparkly and look really bold and statement and actually would that piece be wearable for you you might it might be a bit of an impulse purchase because it looks amazing but actually how wearable is it for you so this is how um these tips will really help you so my next thing i think you should analyze are your fabrics obviously depending on our climate i think this is very climate specific but for me i do like to go for slightly more luxe fabrics um i love things like cashmere even a cashmere blend wool um even in the springtime especially where i live it's nice to have those good quality pieces of knitwear in my wardrobe so that it caters to my lifestyle also things like cotton i gravitate towards that kind of poplin sort of stiff cotton which I think is really nice in shirts, um, shirt dresses. But you might be somebody who prefers a linen, a slightly more relaxed look maybe. Um, just kind of think about your fabrics and the weight of things and how they sit on you and how you feel wearing them. Does it feel soft and comfortable? Are you somebody like Tim who um, literally can only wear like the softest fabrics or those are the things that he always goes towards? Whereas me, I can kind of tolerate things that are a little bit more itchy maybe or a little bit rougher. Say like a kind of mohair -y fabric, I can tolerate that whereas he just wouldn't be able to tolerate that. So what are those things? things that make you feel the most comfortable in. And I think that is really crucial part of analyzing your style. So number four is what kind of style or level of dressiness are your favorite outfits? For me, I think I really like to float the barrier and boundary between smart and something more casual. This again is very lifestyle dependent, but we can always be so dragged in by um, those magpie pieces. We can see things that I don't know, maybe are really dressy, a really nice, pretty summer dress and it just doesn't fit in with how you feel comfortable or your lifestyle and then you don't end up wearing it. So it's really important to analyze what kind of level you go in at. Maybe you're very casual in your lifestyle. You might like to wear um, more comfortable waistlines. You might like to wear um, slightly more like sweatshirts, things like that on a daily basis. And then you might like to kind of dress those down or you might like to wear those kind of pieces, but then dress them up a little bit. Do you like wearing smarter pieces like blazers to elevate that or smarter trench coats? So really assess just your lifestyle and your needs for your lifestyle, um, but also what you like to wear in terms of the comfort. So as I said, for me, it's very much about um, that hybrid between smart and casual. Um, I really don't enjoy being very, very dressed down and relaxed, even though I work from home a lot. Well, I work from home all of the time. I don't like to have that really, really laid back 
um, relaxed style. Um, I sometimes like to put on a pair of jeans in the daytime and then if I go out, I'll put a smarter coat over the top. So I like to always strike that balance no matter um, what I'm doing. And I also think the same applies for when I get dressed up in the evening. I don't always like to be um, really dressy and I think my outfits all reflect that and all the outfits I've chosen, my favorite looks actually reflect that. So that's something again, important to think about and also, I think if you are feeling like you're missing things in your wardrobe, what pieces are, are you missing? This step will probably help with that because if you define your style like me as that hybrid between smart casual, you may think, well, actually, I've got loads of casual pieces um, and I always just use the same blazer over and over again to dress them up a bit. So maybe think about investing more in those kind of pieces so that you've got a nice balance between the two. So hopefully this will help you, um, you know, assess those missing pieces so that you can then go into your wardrobe with ease and know you can always find an outfit that feels very much like you. Okay, number five is really, really crucial for me. Um, and this is your footwear. Going through these pictures um, and your videos and anything you have of your, of your favorite outfits, what footwear are you wearing? Why did you wear that? Um, what works about it? Because I think you always should start your outfit with the footwear just because that is where your comfort begins. And if you don't feel comfortable, I just think it's an instant kind of style no-no. You don't feel good in yourself. You don't carry yourself with confidence. Um, and so it's just kind of uh, a downer on the whole outfit really. So what footwear are you wearing in this picture and why? Is it really comfortable? Is it a completely flat sole? Do you prefer wearing trainers all the time? Do you prefer wearing shoes that are a little bit smarter? Do you prefer loafers, ballet flats? Do you prefer things with a slight heel because that suits where you go to work every day? Um, think about all of these factors that play into the footwear that you're wearing in these photos and dissect why you're wearing that footwear. And then again, it just makes it easier for getting dressed every day for things that you're buying. I know we're kind of drummed into to the idea of not buying the same thing over and over again, which I definitely adhere to. I don't think you should buy, you know, 10 black jumpers. But I do think if you're a trainers person and that's all you like wearing, maybe think about investing in a couple of different pairs so you can change things up, you can create new looks, but always still feel true to you and also still feel comfortable um, in what you're wearing. So I think it's important to kind of have that base understanding of why you like something. And this definitely explains the whys. Okay, so that's five tips to hopefully help you dissect and understand your wardrobe. My channel is all about the why behind the outfit. If this is one of your first videos that you've watched of me, the idea of my channel is not to go and necessarily copy everything I'm wearing. It's not to go and buy everything that I'm saying. Um, I don't want um, you to kind of go away from these videos feeling like you need everything I've got. This is my style um, and I want to kind of help you find your style so that you've got your own sense of confidence in your wardrobe. Um, I think we can get so weighed down um, we scroll through Instagram and TikTok. I'm the same as well. I forget to kind of check myself a little bit um, and think about all the things that everybody else has got, um, but that's their style um, and it might suit them and their lifestyle and what they do, but it doesn't necessarily suit you. So hopefully my videos will give you the tools to go and implement this into your wardrobe. Um, so do let me know if this has been useful. As always, let me know if there's anything else specifically you'd like to see from me. And if you haven't taken a second to just hit that subscribe button, um, then I'd really appreciate it if you could just press it now whilst you're still here. Um, thank you again so much. Um, I'll leave links as well to my favorite pieces below because I know a lot of you follow me because you like my sense of style and can kind of identify with that style yourself. So, so I'll leave some of my favorite pieces as well, just in case. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.